time to invite Dr. Steve Price. This is sort of a, a real pleasure for me. I have a... I've, I've known Dr. Press probably my, probably my entire professional career. Um, not only as a chiropractor, he's a friend. Uh, we actually are from New Jersey. But he gets a different bond. And uh, it's a different place. If you guys ever saw The Sopranos, it's totally true. <laughs> he's a member. Anyway, uh, I've known Steve for a long time. And way back when, in the 80s, we were working on sports chiropractic, developing the CCSP, even going into the Diplomate program. A lot of work was being done back in the States in trying to develop the programs. Um, to Developed chiropractic, especially in the United States, since we were, you know, everyone thought as chiropractors we had two horns and a tail. This guy never came to anything. He was always on an airplane someplace, traveling all over the world, going, doing this program in this country, not the country, speaking who knows how many languages. I never understood anyone who spoke anyway. Be running around traveling. I'm like, wait, where are these going? Well, he had a different vision. He saw a different world of sports chiropractic than I did, or any of, any of us. He works with some other terrific people around this family here to join us today. And I'd like to be able to present him with a very prestigious award. say something. Uh, I've known Stephen for a long time. I'm best known with the World Federation of Chiropractic and that was formed a year after FIX, uh, but was first discussed at a meeting in London where FIX was formed. Uh, we have in the World Federation uh, an excellent earl, WFC.org, the best we could possibly have. The only reason we have that is that we have in Steve an early adopter of technology. Before I even knew what the internet was, he was contacting me to say, David, you need to know about this, do this. Uh, I, I mentioned that short anecdote just to, and Steve, uh, it couldn't make me happier to see you getting this recognition today. Well done. I, I met Stephen in 1988 on the way to Anaba, Algeria, the All African Games. There was, I don't know how many, the eight of us there, and Stephen is the one who brought us all together, who quarterbacked what we were doing, and stood out amongst the, the group. And Stephen is a very unique individual. Everybody who's met Stephen knows he's a very unique individual. And he stood out in that group wonderfully, and brought us together, and, and is, the, is the founder of this. Stephen on um, something sort of like I Spy, I don't know if anyone watched that American TV show where you know they had um, tennis players going around, but they really weren't tennis players, they were CIA agents or something like that. And, and we came to uh, Venezuela to ostensibly do some public speaking about sports chiropractic, but the real reason was to meet uh, one of the members of uh, the IOC. And um, uh, it, it was an amazing time we, we had in Venezuela. and. Uh, it was, you know, one of the many attempts that, as an organization, we've uh, tried to get someplace with the IOC. Like all the other attempts, it really didn't get anywhere. But for me, it was a great opportunity to spend three days um, with a, a lot of contact time with someone who constantly corrected my pronunciation of words that aren't in English. <laughs> but thank you for all those corrections. Yeah. 
I'm prepared. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the space. <laughs> I'm just going to say, it, it's, this won't take long, but I, I, I have to say that when I thought about, when, actually I, I wasn't planning to come, and uh, I had lunch with Phil Santiago, and he said, you really need to be in Rio. And I said, why do I need to be in Rio? It's a long trip, it's expensive. He said, you really need to be in Rio. You gotta tell me why. And he said, Well, you'll find out in about a week. And I got this email from Sheila saying, Well, we're gonna do this. And it's been 25 years. Right. About 25 years. 1987 in London. And I can only tell you I, that, that what came to my mind was what Martin Luther King said in his famous speech. I had a dream. A dream that chiropractors would be recognized as the leaders they are. I dreamed that chiropractors would go to the Olympic Games as national team doctors. I dreamed we might one day be the equals of the medical profession in sports medicine. I dreamed we could have our own international agency to represent this specialty. And I've been fortunate enough, really fortunate, to have lived to see most of those dreams come true. We went in 1968-72 games when the DCs, when some DC paid a small country to let him go with their team and treated anybody he could get close to. No one else would allow us in the door. Now we have more teams pretty much demanding DCs than we have internationally trained DCs to go to these games. That pioneer opened the door so we could arrange an official meeting. His name was Leroy Perry. He actually helped make this all possible. If not for the ruckus of his politicking with the US Olympians, there was a Dr. Dardick who was chairman of the Olympic Sports Medicine Committee. He probably wouldn't have been interested in meeting with us to do this. So it was, I really owe that to, to, to Lee Perry because he sort of martyred himself to our cause. I was lucky, I was really very lucky, very weirdly sometimes, frequently in the right place at the right time, and many times just sheerly by synchronicity, managed to meet right people, right times, and just because of, of linguistic skills, be able to communicate with people that it was, with whom it was important for us to communicate. I, like they said, I didn't always make friends. Uh, and there were trials and tribulations, and, but, and, and some of those people in sports medicine are not too happy with the fact that they have to pay homage to sports chiropractic today. Uh, but I will tell you this, and I, I, and I want to thank, I just want to thank some people. I want to thank our dear departed colleague, Jacques, Jacques Breton of Canada, who, um, for having had the foresight, and now I just found out it was because uh, Gordon kicked him in the pants and said, call Stephen. <laughs> but something interesting to, to our francophone uh, friends who are here, because of that, we, prior to that, we, we, the, all of the French-speaking world was using the word chiropractic. They were using this franglais. And Breton called me and he said, we can't join FIX because you're calling it Fédération Internationale de Chiropractic Sportive. And we can't we have a law against using franglais in Canada. And I said, well, so how about we call it chiropractic? He said, no, it's still too English. I said, all right, how about we drop the C? We call it chiropratique. He said, voila. So we coined this word, chiropratique. If you look in the Le Rousse Dictionary today, that's the word universally used for the chiropractic profession in French language. I, I didn't realize we were, we were, we were doing that. <laughs> My love and thanks to, to, uh, to George Billow, who was a US team doctor at the Olympic Festival and signed our initial charter. To John Stump, who was my large brother in the Freemasons. And I, I called on him because I wanted the ICA to be included. And he came on board because of that. My Palmer classmate, Noel Patterson, who signed the first charter from Australia. He was president of their chiropractic sports council. These guys jumped in before the rest of the world signed on. Remember, that was all the sports councils that existed in the earth at that time. And shortly after, other friends worked to make as possible. Enrique Benet joined our board from Mexico. I dragged him out of bed and got him to come to London, actually. Um, my love and thanks to Tommy Hyde and his, his Susan, to, uh, um, to Gordon and his Susan, uh, to, uh, wait a minute, there's another Susan. I'm the only one without a wife named Susan, but one. <laughs> yeah, you must have one. <laughs> no, 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 no. But uh, I've been very lucky the last seven years, my, my wife, the love of my life, my Olga, um, who was herself a pediatrician by training, has been there by my side and has been very supportive. Um, 
to fill in him. Yet I thought you had the Susan. It's your Susan. You hear? Everybody's Susan. It's unbelievable. Uh, to Roland Brulara and his and his wife Clarice, who uh, um, always made me feel comfortable in Lausanne, and all of those others who may not have been my friends and maybe not even have liked me personally, but nonetheless worked tirelessly to bring fix to the position it holds today in the world. To you, I say sorry we couldn't get along, but thanks just the same for the important contributions you've made to this profession. And lastly, I want to say a, a special thanks to Brian and Dale Nook, and, uh, and Deb Nook for the fantastic job they did in uh, documenting the treatments at the last several events and the professionalism. Uh, I want to thank Dale, Dale Richardson of Australia and our dear Angela Salcedo, with whom I've had the pleasure to work these last several years with ISCA, and, and, the, and the privilege it's been to, to sort of broker this deal that brought ISCA back under the umbrella of FIX, so that we have the power of a relationship with the World Olympians Association. It's been really amazing. Um, to the newer generation of sports leaders, I want to especially express my thank, love, and gratitude to our lovely President Sheila Wilson, as well as the entire FIX board. I love every one of you. Um, and finally, uh, I, I'm going to up with that, don't worry. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, to my son Robert, who's been my best friend, um, my other best friend, my first is my wife, of course, uh, but uh, Robert, who got his master's in computer science and then said, I'm not going to do that for a living, Dad. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to do what you do. And he's about, he's here from uh, National College as their representative and the research fellow at the National University of Health Sciences. Um, my son's videotaping right now, but I want to recognize Robert Press. Um, and every one of you, because you're all your family, and I just love every one of you to death. And uh, this is just, uh, be, be very amazed because I really expected for the tears to be coming down my face. Thank you, Steve. And then for a final shot, yeah, absolutely. You can. Steve, let's yeah. have you, Phil, and Sheila <coughs> right in the front there. 